subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell button to receive notification about all new videos. All about ovulation, 19 facts about ovulation. You need to know. Number 1, the average woman's cycle is 28 days, but your cycle can be anything from, to 36 days long. Ovulation normally happens about two weeks before your next period, so if your cycle is 28 days, you will ovulate around day 14. Work out when you are ovulating by using our ovulation calculator. Number 2. Your egg lives for up to 24 hours after leaving your ovary, so if you are having sex around your most fertile days, you'll have the best chance of conceiving. Number 3. That said. Your partner's sperm can live for up to 5 days, so it's a good idea to also have sex before ovulation occurs if you are trying to conceive. Number 4. Your partner will release around 250 million sperm during ejaculation, however only around 400 of these sperm will make the 10-hour journey from your vagina, through your cervix and up the fallopian tube, where it can penetrate the egg. Only one can burrow through your egg's outer membrane. Number 5, ovulation can be affected by a number of different things including stress and illness. If you've been trying for a baby for a while, it might be time to take a look at your job stresses, or workout routine. Number 6, the sex of your baby is actually determined from the moment your partner's sperm meets your egg. If the sperm is carrying a Y chromosome, you'll have conceived a boy and if it's an X chromosome, It'll be a girl. Number 7, every woman is born with millions of immature eggs, half of these will be absorbed by your ovaries before you reach adolescence, the other half will sit waiting for your ovulation cycle to begin. Only 300 to 500 of these eggs, medically referred to as oocytes, will become mature eggs in your lifetime. Number 8, you can have a period even if you haven't ovulated and you can ovulate without having a period. Number 9, some women experience some bleeding as their fertilized egg burrows into the lining of their womb, this is called implantation bleeding and can often be confused with a period. Here's how to tell the difference between implantation bleeding and a period. Number 10, if an egg is not fertilized by a sperm during the ovulation period, it will disintegrate and be absorbed into the lining of the uterus or pass out with the menstrual flow. Number 11. Ovulation happens thanks to two different hormones, during the most fertile week of your cycle, your levels of luteinizing hormones, LH, and follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, will rise. This stimulates the production of follicles in your ovary. Number 12, each month, one follicle will become larger than the others and produce an egg. Usually only one egg will be released during each cycle. This follicle will also start to produce estrogen, which tells your body to start thickening the lining of the womb for implantation. Number 13, once the egg has been released, the same, now empty, follicle will produce another hormone, progesterone, which prevents the release of any more eggs this cycle. The empty follicle is medically referred to as corpus luteum. This level of progesterone remains high enough to prevent any more eggs from being released for the next 12 to 16 days, after which your cycle will start again. This is the same hormone that is in birth control pills. Number 14, your egg is smaller than the head of a pin when it is released during ovulation. Number 15, although a lot of women do not experience any physical signs of ovulating, one in five will experience lower abdominal pain known as Mittelschmerz, a German word meaning middle pain. Number 16, another physical sign you are ovulating is a clear, somewhat elastic discharge in the days leading up to ovulation. It might sound gross, but try stretching it between two fingers so you know what to look out for each month. Number 17, if you want to be really sure when you are ovulating, monitoring your basal body temperature, BBT, is a good indicator. Your basal body temperature averages around 36.1 to 36.4 degrees Celsius before ovulation, and rises to between 36.4 to 37 degrees Celsius after ovulation. The downside to this method is that your body temperature changes 12 to 24 hours after ovulation has actually occurred, 
meaning there can be little time left to conceive. Number 18, research has proved your sense of smell increases when you are ovulating. Science tells us you also look more attractive to your partner when you're ovulating. Number 19, home pregnancy tests work by checking your urine for the hormone HCG that your body starts to make once a fertilized egg has been implanted in your uterus. However, this process can take several days, so if you take a test straight away, you might want to retake it nearer to when your period is due. Find out more about when to take a pregnancy test here. Yeah.